Hey guys, and welcome back to an extra special edition of Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. Today, we are gonna watch my fiance match into her sports medicine fellowship. I wanna give a huge shout out to her for letting me tape this moment and share it with you guys here on YouTube. A little background first. You might be wondering, what even is the match? So if you know any physicians, they have definitely gone through the process of matching into a residency. I would say the most important decision you make during medical school is which specialty you're gonna train in. And so in order to get into that specialty and start your training, you have to go through the match. So matching really is kind of terrifying because you put in all this hard work, you've made it almost all the way through med school, you get to your fourth and final year of med school and you finally decided exactly what you want to do. So at this point, it's all great. I mean, you've decided what you wanna do, but that specialty has to accept you and let you train with them. Please let me in. No. So there are some specialties that are more competitive than others, but we're not really gonna get into that right now. Essentially, you choose what specialty you want to go into, you upload your resume to this cloud-like system called ARIS, you ask some people for letters of recommendation, hopefully you've made some good connections along the way. So these recommendations are from attending physicians that you've worked with, so hopefully you've done some good things. Um, and then you don't get to read these letters and they all go into this system called ARIS. After everything's uploaded, it's time to apply to programs. And so you can just apply to one program if you want. Probably not smart. You can apply to as many programs as you want. But of course they're gonna charge you more if you do that because everything is about making money. Show me the money. So then all these programs get your applications and they decide if they wanna offer you an interview. And if you're lucky enough to get an interview, you go and do interviews at all these places and then you rank them and they rank you. So say I applied to five programs. So I'm gonna rank those one through five, with one being the program that I most hope to match with. All the programs then do the same thing. They rank their favorite applicant as number one and their least favorite all the way at the bottom of the list. So then these lists shoot out into hyperspace somewhere, I don't know. And apparently there's some really smart algorithm that these lists go into and matches people up with their highest choice and with the choices of the programs. And then usually in med school, the school will host a big party where everybody goes and finds out where they match on the same day. And people are celebrating, people are crying, people run away because they're really sad. The matching system actually sends you an email the week before to tell you that you did match. That way you don't show up on match day and not have a match because that's just um, awkward for everyone. So yay, now you've matched into residency. So my residency was in family medicine, and then I decided I wanted to do extra training in sports medicine. A lot of people do decide they wanna do further training. And so lucky me, I got to go through another match, and so it's essentially the same thing. I would argue that matching into fellowship is actually a little bit more work because you have to prove that you are interested in going into this kind of subspecialized area. So during residency, I had to cover a lot of sporting events, um, present at conferences, that kind of stuff to prove that I was really interested in sports medicine. So my fiance, Heather, I mean, right, she was a lesbian, has known she wanted to go into sports medicine since medical school, since before she actually matched into family medicine. And so she's done research, she's written papers, she's done presentations, she's covered probably hundreds of sporting events. So she is an amazing applicant. So now we're gonna flash back to a little earlier in the day and watch her match. Ah. I'd like to introduce you all to my beautiful fiance, Dr. Heather. Hi. So, <laughs> She is about to match into her sports medicine fellowship in one minute. Less than a minute. And she was nice enough to let us record what happens. And so she's a rock star, so I have no doubt I have no doubt that she'll do really well, but she's nervous. Nervous for the match and to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Here All we right. are. Noon. It's noon. Should I log in? Yes. Because I knew 
that you are a boss and you are going to match into your number one. Your very first Georgia Tech clothing apparel. Thank you. Yay. I love it. I love the yellow you. jacket. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's so kind. Adidas all year long. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you, babe. Thank you. I'm just glad I submitted my list. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few minutes. What do you think? Time pumps. <laughs> this is what I wanted. This is what we wanted. Are you ready to move to Atlanta? No, I still have things to do in Winston-Salem first. <laughs> but it's exciting. Um, there'll be a direct flight from South Bend to Atlanta, which is awesome. And I know that I'm gonna get amazing training there. So, I'm pumped. Well, happy match day. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I'm so proud of her, and I had no doubt she would match into her number one choice. It is kind of a bittersweet thing because this means we're going to be apart for another year and a half. Um, she has six more months of residency, and then the fellowship is a year. But when you're marrying a doctor, you kind of know that's what you're getting into. Now don't get me wrong guys, that was fun, but next week we're gonna get back to the silly because I can't stay serious for too long. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next week. Wait, you have a piece of skin right there. It's okay. Here, call parents. <laughs> Do you get it? I don't know. I think it's fine. Just looking out for you. <laughs> I'm Hannah. <laughs>